this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Markets finished up mixed last week. You had corn lower while beans were higher and wheat was slightly higher on the week last week. Mixed again so far this morning. You've got corn and wheat lower while beans are higher. Basing all pricing when we talk about higher or lower on the week or day. Now on September for corn and wheat and August for soybeans. So when I say higher or lower, those are the contracts I'm basing it on moving forward until I let you know otherwise. Uh, moving forward today, we've got first notice day today, so all longs should have been out of the market uh, this past Friday unless you want to be subject to delivery. Also, daily trading limits no longer apply to July futures contracts. That's just July, and if you go out to September for beans, or I'm sorry, corn and wheat or August and we're further out for soybeans, those will still have daily trading limits. But after first notice day, uh, July no longer has daily trading limits. So you want to keep that in mind, especially since we've got the quarterly stocks and planted acres report today. So without further ado, we'll take a look at our whiteboard here and go over those numbers one more time here for you before we get into that report. So right here in the black is the average trade estimates, and that's the same for planted acres. So uh, June 1 stock Average trade estimate is 3.723 billion bushels, and versus June 1 last year, that's around a billion bushels higher. So we did a great job replenishing corn stocks last year. Shows up in the numbers here, and it also shows up in the pricing as well of corn, as we're much lower uh, as far as pricing goes than we were last year. Beans expected to come in at 382 million bushels. That's lower than we were last year. And then wheat expected to come in at 597 million bushels. Again, that's quite a bit lower than we were last year as well. Just hadn't seen the wheat increase in price like you would expect when you see something like this, just due to not being very com competitive as far as wor world pricing goes. So that's kind of hampered the wheat market, not really boosted it as much as seeing these two different prices you would think it, or different numbers you would think it would. As far as planted acres go, um, we're going versus March, the last planted acres report here, uh, 91.709 million acres for corn. That's uh, slightly higher than we came in at in March. For beans, 82.213 million acres. That's uh, 800,000, give or take, acres more than we had in March. And then wheat expected to come in at 55.777 million acres. That's a slight drawback from where we were in the March planted acreage report. So it's really all we've got to cover this morning. Again, that report comes out at 11 a.m. Central. Make sure you're aware of that. Make sure you've got your position squared ahead of the time, as this report definitely can induce some volatility in the market. So we will be out later this afternoon to let you know what the report said, how the markets reacted, and what to expect moving forward. So thanks. We'll see you later this afternoon. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the Risk Disclosure Access at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.